It's really important for you to set clear boundaries. I think a lot of times we grew up as young people, we're supposed to respect our elders. We're supposed to do exactly what they tell us to do. And there's times if there's toxic people in your life, you may have to cut those people out so you can have some peace. And just because Uncle Bill is around the house, if he doesn't give you peace and it's toxic, then don't go to those family functions. And I think at times we um, feel guilty when we do those things. But like I say, you have got to have peace within yourself. If you, if you don't have peace, then what is life about? And so I think you have to have peace even in your own home. You don't bring anyone into your own home. Your home should be a place that you can have peace, you feel comfortable, and if family members or friends or boyfriends, girlfriends, if they don't bring peace to your home, then they gotta go. Absolutely, and, and how would you go about setting those boundaries? I think you have to have clear expectations and you can't wafer. Like you have to say, these are my boundaries. I grew up with an alcoholic father. When I lived in the home, I could not leave if he was drinking. As an adult, when my kids came to my parents' home, if he started drinking, I knew it's time for me to leave. Because with my kids, I can set that boundary up. And my mom would say, no, he'll be okay, he'll be okay. Nope, we're not doing that. Pack up kids, we're leaving. Because in my house, we have peace. You sleep at nighttime, you don't have to worry about someone coming in drunk. As a kid, I didn't get that but I'm gonna make sure my kids have it. And so you have to set up those clear expectations. You can't let people change your mind about your expectations or people say, well, she's just being a certain way. No, you have to protect yourself. And as a mother, my job is to protect my kids. If I don't protect myself, who will? You know, I'm responsible for myself. I mean, my husband will protect me to the very end. But at the end of the day, I'm responsible for making sure I'm protected and not physically, being protected but mental because we have a lot of people walking around with mental illness and different things and we don't talk about those things we don't talk about mental illness I mean especially like people of color we don't talk about mental illness because you know or we'll pray about it but sometime when mental illness kicks in or even just going to see a therapist like there's nothing wrong going to see someone and talk about life issues or these are the struggles I'm having right now in my life what's an indicator that you need to set a boundary if something doesn't feel right, I mean, the work environment, we work ourselves to death because we just work and put in those hours and we don't know how to set boundaries. Hey, five o'clock, I'm turning off my computer, I'm turning off my phone, I'm, I'm not dealing with work. It can wait until tomorrow morning because if we don't set those boundaries at work within our family, I mean, each, each person has their own boundaries that they have to set for themselves. My boundaries are not the same as your boundaries. And so I think you just have to, um, whatever affects you and be able to say, hey, not gonna do this.